you very much. We'll be speaking about this uh, today and, of course, again tomorrow. Uh, in other news for you this morning, tsunami warnings have been lifted after a 6.7 magnitude earthquake hit the coast of northern Chile. Astronomers are eagerly awaiting a total lunar eclipse, or a blood moon, as it's known, in the early hours of tomorrow morning. It'll be the last time the event will be visible from the UK for 10 years. Our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh, has details. Good to talk to you this morning. I know it's a very significant day for you. So Rabbi Nikki uh, Liss, thank you for explaining all of what's happening today. And as you heard there, that uh, ceremony begins at 11 o'clock at Bushy New Cemetery today. So uh, a significant moment. It's just coming up to 18 minutes past seven. Very good morning to you. And we can catch up with the weather. And Helen has been telling us about cold temperatures. Good morning. <laughs> Hello there. It's genuinely made me shiver. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Helen. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. Uh, more from Helen a little later. Now, it's something entirely different. We're talking about the black rhino. It's one of the smaller of the African rhinos and a critically endangered species. And so it's important for their future that they get help with breeding programmes from places like the Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Here's the question for you, though. How do you get a rhino to travel to Doncaster? Well, pi apparently by tempting it. <laughs> With lots of bananas, of as course. Keely Donovan has been finding out. And watch out, there's a cute alert. <laughs> Ordinary um, animals. You can watch Najuma, the rhino's journey across Europe on Inside Out in Yorkshire and Lincolnshire. It's tomorrow at 7.30pm, BBC One. Or, of course, if you're not there, um, you want to see it, you can see it on the BBC iPlayer after that. More cute pictures of baby rhinos. Yep, that's all you need on the iPlayer. Uh, you are watching Breakfast from BBC News. It's just approaching 24 minutes past seven. Good morning. Time for a look at the newspapers. So it's kind of a mixed bag on the front page, is sort of Brexit and things about the Duke of Edinburgh as well. Mm -hmm. But so much inside the papers, obviously, about last week, next week, Brexit, where are we going? I won't, I won't make you answer that question, <laughs> but do take us through what, what particularly you're looking at. OK, so I thought we'd start off with The Times, which offers um, a really nice kind of run through. Most papers have done this over the last mm -hmm. I'm supposed to do. And people on both sides of the debate, on all different elements of the debate, go, well, it's a very small you going to show It about. is indeed. It is the mail. Um, and there is a section on... Um, Hello, a very good morning. You're watching Breakfast with Ben Thompson and Louise Minchin. Good morning to you. Here's a summary of today's main stories from BBC News. Police have spoken to the Duke of Edinburgh after he was photographed driving without a seatbelt on a public road just two days after his crash with a, in a car carrying a woman and a baby. Esme had told her she wished she was a boy so she could be a firefighter as the books she reads only include fire men. Look, that spread around the world in a matter of days. Um, Richard, very good morning to you. Lots morning, of girls Lou, yesterday. Well, the horses just thought, the trainers thought, why bother? Yeah. I mean, 17, 17 in a row. Yeah. consecutive win. Just one short of the all-time record set by big bucks. Absolutely phenomenal horse. Thank you. Thanks very much. Nice um, we'll see you later. 7.42. It's estimated around 300,000 adults and children in the UK live with Tourette syndrome, a condition that causes a person to make involuntary sounds and movements known as tics. But for some people, their symptoms are so intense they require hospital treatment. This is Alice Franklin's story. It's like this is set to continue. Right? Yeah, and it, it's, it's really tough. Adrian Gerberg, thank you very much Thanks, indeed. Adrian. And you can hear Adrian's programme at Five Live Investigates on BBC Radio 5 Live, 11 o'clock this morning. Thank you. Uh, it's just before a quarter to eight. Uh, Helen's got to look at the, mor uh, the morning's weather for us today. Uh, and Helen, it really has turned cold in most parts of the country, hasn't it? Colder. Oh, <laughs> but some sunshine too. <laughs> You're very excited. It's nice to see. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's turning cold is all we need to know. Uh, if you want some sun... No, it's not. We need more details. Some ideas, maybe, here. Yeah, yeah go on. In this week. Thanks very much, uh, Nicole there. It's uh, just coming up to uh, ten past eight. We're hearing from French media that two people have been killed, four seriously injured in a fire at the ski resort of Corsica from the retailers, oh. although the backdrop is obviously very different. Um, some would say retailers have just got to up their game, though. 
Because we're used to stuff being cheaper, we're used to it being on sale. You know, our psychology has changed where we don't want to buy stuff that's full price because we expect it's going to be on sale in a couple of weeks. The retailers just got to work a bit harder to get us to spend. Well, also, they've created that problem for themselves. Thank you very much for coming to see us. Thank you. Nice to Claire. Thanks very much. Uh, what's the weather doing outside? We know it's cold, but where and how cold? Helen's got the details for us. Well, not at least. Thank you very much, <laughs> Helen. I've never seen anyone so excited about the cold, but it's nice. It's en enthused me. Pretty clear that yeah. it's going to cold from Helen, though. Are uh, you watching Breakfast from BBC News? It's uh, 19 minutes past eight. Uh, let's go to Andrew Ma and see what he's got on his programme. Well, one question, as ever in politics. Uh, that's it for uh, viewers here on BBC One. We'll be on the BBC News channel until nine o'clock, so stay with us until then. We'll see you very soon. Yeah. Turn it. Uh, you're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Uh, we're going to have all the headlines for you at Plus sports, plus and weather. Sports and plus everything. Plus, yeah, and th we're going to be talking about the moon as well. Stay with us. What more do you need? Yeah. See you shortly. Headlines shortly. <laughs> Hello, good morning to you. This is Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Ben Thompson. 8.30 exactly at the summary of this morning's main news. Police have spoken to the Duke of Edinburgh after he was photographed driving without a seatbelt on a public road just two days after his crash with a car carrying two women and a... The blast happened shortly... ...difficulties has reached its highest level since the economic crisis ten years ago. 38 Theresa May is expected to hold a conference call with her cabinet ministers this afternoon as she prepares to outline her next steps to break the Brexit deadlock that prompted a pretty way to prove that, isn't it? <laughs> lovely. What a lovely oh, story. Um, so it's at 8.34 and it was a busy night of goals, wasn't it? Yeah, lots of goals in the uh, Premier League, Louise. Um, Liverpool winning 4-3 against Crystal Palace. You can see Jürgen Klopp.